Hi, I'm Jack Flynn, and it's my first video, so don't be too harsh, please. <laughs> um, I've been wanting to talk about wrestling for a long time. Actually, I came on YouTube about two years ago and spoke about Big Show coming back and laying everyone out on SmackDown, but I didn't get too much positive feedback on that, and I got called an English jerk and all that crap so I kinda give it up but now I'm back so screw you and if you're listening now well more fool you okay um my first order of business is to talk about the whole Vince thing the limo explosion and the death fictional death of Vincent Kennedy McMahon well I watched Raw Live, and my first thought was, <laughs> how fucking stupid. But then, I began to think, really, how stupid is this? It's just got me talking. It's got the internet talking. It's got everyone talking. Now, how stupid is that? They might be talking about how stupid it is the concept of the murder of Vince McMahon but it's got people talking it's all over the internet nodq.com all that crap plug for nodq nodq.com I love that site man <coughs> anyway it's got people talking and it must have done something good Vince loves to provoke action he loves to provoke people talking about his show and I think it's a really positive thing as it's bringing people who aren't necessarily wrestling fans and they're actually thinking Vince McMahon is dead. So it's bringing people in, I think. Um, I mean, it's got all these people talking and <laughs> well done to Vince. Hats off to Vince McMahon. Congratulations, Vinnie Mac. You've got everyone talking about you. Um, so, yeah. And the whole death thing, it just makes your show look more ludicrous. It makes your show look more, and I quote unquote, in the WWE, anything can happen. And you certainly did prove that. And it has happened. Anything has happened. You see people buried alive, you see people thrown off cages, you've seen ladder matches, you've seen people smashed in the face with chairs, you've seen people kiss people's asses, and now you've seen someone die. And it just proves anything can happen in WWE. So my final thought is on first look at the whole limo explosion, it was pretty fucking stupid, but it got people talking, so I think it's a good thing for WWE. From a storyline perspective, maybe you can go with a whole Who Killed McMahon thing, and I think they're trying to do that on WD.com at the moment. Um, on no DQ, they've got all this, like, Who Killed McMahon and stuff. Um, so it's got people talking, it's got people talking about Vince's show, and overall I think it's positive. But the whole. I'm confused because the whole scenario to me. It's kind of bizarre because you're killing a Vince McMahon character. Such a top heel. Maybe he's annoying now, but I like Vince McMahon as a heel. Um, I think he did a pretty convincing job being a heel. He was the evil boss. Bow down and kiss my ass. Um, but yeah. There's so different ways you can look at it. I wonder it's got everyone talking, as I've said so many times in this interview, and I'm not going to say it again. Um, it's killed the man, man character, but then again, oh, I've just thought, it's not, oh, he's not going to pretend to be a ghost or anything, is he? Because that's just going to suck ass. So hope we don't do that. Well, anyway, it's got people talking, 
and I've said that so many times now and I'm getting pissed off myself for saying it so I'm going to leave um, overall I think the limo explosion is a positive thing and people should see that and stop slagging it off even though it does look pretty fucking dumb <laughs>